Hi everyone! Welcome to the Lone Fox Lobby. You know, I love having fun little names for the rooms on my channel. We have had the horror movie room in the past, which actually was a room in my previous apartment that I called the horror movie room because I found a very scary piece of fabric. I thought it was someone's dress and I was gonna find them in the attic. The room still was called the horror movie room and this room I'm calling the lobby, which I know is so random, but it's actually the room that you first walk into when you come to my house. And as you guys know, my house is actually a 1929 duplex that I'm converting into a single family home and this is the room that kind of connects up the two units so this is where I actually created the archway and the wall in order to go into the stairwell of the upper unit so whenever you walk in either of the front doors you walk first into this room and it's kind of where everyone meets when they come over we've had a lot of our furniture just kind of sitting in here and so it's been a gathering space for a while and it's actually nice not having like a ton of people going upstairs you know and when we have people over that then you know bring their friends and such a huge thing for me in this house is that every room Room, I want to have a different feeling. I want this room, for example, to feel really bright and airy when you walk into it. And I want the movie theater to feel like a dark, kind of moody movie theater. And the upstairs with, you know, the cathedral ceiling, that just kind of screamed to me more on the moody side as well. So I'm creating almost different vibes and different atmospheres throughout the home as you walk through, which I think is really fun. So we are working on the lobby. And this, if you guys remember, was painted blue. I actually had it painted a different color while I was working on the breakfast nook. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make you guys watch me paint again and again and again because I've been painting a lot lately. And I'll pop up a photo of the old decor, jump scare. So I ended up having this room painted the same exact shade as the breakfast nook. This is Demony by Pharaoh and Ball. It's my personal favorite kind of neutrally warm tone. So if you're looking for kind of that Swiss coffee or like dove wing alternative, Demony from Pharaoh and Ball, I love it. Kind of has like a touch of pink in it as well, which I really like in this space. It pairs nicely with the floor. There's some pink tones in it as well. But we have a lot that is going to be happening in this video. There's quite a bit that's going to be just going in at once. We have the sofa right here. I have a tapestry for this space that I have been saving for months. I want to share with you first like what the fireplace looks like and kind of what the room looks like as is. I cannot believe this is the view that I have on this little camera at the moment. So this is the color on the walls. This is the beautiful fireplace. And the fun thing, disregard the trash, it's being picked up shortly. <laughs> the fun thing about the fireplace is this mantle's actually original. I believe it's original on this one. Now the upstairs one had a lot more of a unique silhouette. It actually projected out in the front, if you guys remember, and then kind of went down. And the silhouette of that one definitely fit more of the no mantle look. However, this one, the mantle seems like it actually was added because it fits really nicely with the niche here. And then really the proportions also just make sense as well. So I absolutely love the way that this fireplace looks painted in Dimity. And then something else that happened was there was these really ugly, not very cute corbels that were added and they were removed. We had them taken off. Marie did a nice job removing those. Over. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're getting it good. Keep going. Good job! <gasps> wow, Marie! <laughs> that was a good one! <laughs> And then the incredible painter ended up patching over those holes and painting, and it looks really, really great. I'm just so happy with this color, and I'm sure you guys already saw the sofa. And then to the left of the fireplace, this is what it's looking like. The movie theater room is in there, but we moved some of the furniture into the hallway for now. This is that really cool chest that I found, and then my AD bookcase. So this is going to be a work in progress. And this sofa, it has been a fan crowd favorite. Like everyone that comes over is obsessed with this sofa and I am as well. This is the Marlowe sofa by Castlery, which today's video is kindly sponsored by Castlery. I've had this sofa actually down here for a couple of months. It's actually modular and it was so smart how they made this modular, but they made it like channeled and tufted. So the where it actually like separates makes sense. I think that is so clever. The boucle is absolutely incredible. It is one of the most comfortable couches I've ever sat on as well like you wouldn't think this is a comfortable couch it is it really really is look at this sofa you guys it is definitely like it could stand as a statement piece but it also can blend in to so many decor styles i feel it's such a great piece i want to share with you all the different pieces that come in this particular kind of sofa set they have two of these which are kind of just like more chair style pieces 
And then there's two curves as well. So you can kind of play around with putting them together to create different shapes, which I really like. The amount of ways you can configure the sofa is really what got me. I knew I wanted to change up the configuration of this, and I actually had this on a mood board for about a year before getting it, and I just love it so much. And if you've never heard of Castlery before, it is a modern furniture company that creates a story for each room in your home. They craft timeless furniture from raw materials, the highest quality that's built for longevity. I actually ended up using all Castlery pieces when I rented my friend Marco's apartment, if you guys remember. Every single piece in this space was Castlery, and he saw so many of the pieces that are so high quality, still in incredible condition as well. And the Marlowe sofa, I knew I had to have this in this lower living room because it kind of references a vintage silhouette, but it uses such modern finishes, which I love. And Castlery offers free fabric swatches, flat rate shipping, a 14 day return policy. Plus they're having a Memorial Day sale right now until the fourth. So I definitely suggest taking advantage. Use my code Lone Fox Memorial on the screen and you can get these discounts that are also on the screen. And I'll put all the information in the description box below for you guys as well, along with a link to Castlery. Okay. This one is my favorite. I love it so much. You want it's to know what I love about it? What? The tambour doors. They're so pretty! I think the round is cool. And also, the wood on this piece is so stunning. I have been photographing all my products for the website on top of this piece because the wood is unreal. Like the actual finish on this is so pretty and the color. Do they remind you of anything? No. A vintage bread box. Oh. What you like have in your kitchen, you yeah. like open it up. Yeah, I, I can see that. Archway that leads up to the second floor. Now I'm not a thousand percent sure if the sideboard that I got is gonna go on this side or on this side. I have either one to play with because I do have a tapestry that I cannot wait to share with you guys. This is such a cool piece. I've been saving it for a couple months now. Let me bring it in and while we're hanging it up, I'll give you guys a little story time. You wanna know what's special about this tapestry? It's the only thing that Drew's ever been able to keep a secret from you guys because he didn't want to tell you because he wanted to show you and it was time. <laughs> Here's my tapestry. This is the tapestry that I found and it is very large. I'm going to unroll it in just a minute. Here's a little sneaky peeky. So this tapestry I happened to find when I was shopping for a rug for the kitchen months back. Um, I went to this rug store. They had this tapestry on the wall. I saw the price tag. And I cried a little because it was so beautiful. It was so big. I loved, loved, loved the colors, but the price was insane. But this was, if you guys remember that antique store that I mentioned where the owner was kind of like, he was going out of antiques. He said that he was trying to sell off what he had. So he essentially offered me the tapestry at less than half the price. And it was still so much. I was like, gosh, this is a lot of money. So I didn't do it, I left. Um, and then I ended up going back a couple weeks later to look for another rug, because he had so many. And he offered me the tapestry at even less. And at this point, it was like a third of the price. So I actually sent it to Dr. Lori, who appraised all the lighting. And she said, you absolutely need to get that at that price. That is a great price for a tapestry like that. Are you guys ready for this? Because I have been ready for this. Of uh, the reveal of the 17th century tapestry. <laughs> Let's Here we go. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. It looks almost fake. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. You wouldn't think that colors would still be this bright vibrant. After I know. over 200 years. It is crazy. But you can like, even you guys, like this even smells 200 years old. It does. It's yeah, giving, it's giving ancient, kind of ancient burlap. Ancient burlap <laughs> and um, historic <laughs> times, if you will. So many of the other ones that we looked at had people in them with like, yes. things, like weird period clothing, which just didn't it wasn't like now. It wasn't homey, it was museum-y. So I don't know like if we should have it kind of a little like that, or if we should have it more straight across, but it would be right under the beam. All 
Alrighty, we just laid down the rug. Still have to kind of put it over in this section, but the furniture is currently over here, and I love this rug. It's actually from my site, and it is an indoor-outdoor rug, which is cool because this is gonna be such a high traffic area. Now, of course, it needs to relax a little bit because it just came unrolled and unfolded, but I am loving it. This is definitely a more accurate representation of the color. It kind of has this gray in it as well as coolness, which I love, but it also has this warmth in it. So it kind of balances out and creates this nice neutral tone as the base for our rug. are the little velcro strips that I'm going to be using to attach the tapestry to the wall. So these are just going to adhere to the wall and then this is going to go to the back side of the tapestry and each of these holds 15 pounds and I have 15 of them so I'm going to kind of line them up across the back side and put it up on the wall. We have already got to work down here. Hair is looking crazy today. I need a haircut soon. Um, but we added the tapestry on the wall, got that mounted, and it looks just unreal. Unreal. The colors in this tapestry, in this room especially, because it gets so much light, are just stunning. The couch is incredible. I love the contrast of the couch in front of the sofa. And the coffee table is so good, you guys. It's another kind of custom-made piece by moi. Found this. It's a it's a stand for a huge pot that doesn't have like a flat bottom. But I kind of want to use it as a table base. I took a little metal base for a vintage pot that you would essentially, it would hold up the pot that has a rounded bottom. And I found this tabletop at Berber Imports. It's made of Egyptian marble and it is so beautiful. It's like a blue toned marble. And I found the tabletop and I ended up putting it on this base that was for a plant. It looks so cool. So I wanna bring that in here so we can get it in the space. And that'll finish off like a lot of the furniture over in this sort of corner of our lobby. Is that not one of the most beautiful marbles you've ever seen? I cannot believe how pretty it looks with the tapestry because it pulls like some of the blue from the tapestry into the coffee table I think it's so cool and I love how simple the leg is on this as well look how good this piece also looks with this whole collection and once we get it all styled everything is coming together so pretty in this room I love it so if you guys remember this lamp that I've had for quite a while I love it it's an overarching light and it provides so much light because there's actually three bulbs inside of here but it has more of a modern shade the shade was actually this one right here like a black drum shade and I'm not a fan so I actually have this fluted shade I got this at a thrift store a while back for like a couple of dollars and I just swapped it I put it on here and I think it's pretty cool I'm gonna put this behind the couch and kind of see how we like it but the shade potentially might be swapped but I do like and want to repurpose this overarching light because I don't know I think it's gonna be great in here yes I love that that looks so good Imagine reading under here like this. utilizing this as a bar that was the idea for it kind of make it a makeshift bar since this is kind of gonna be the welcoming room where you come I thought this could be great to have a mirror up here a lamp and then just like some bar style accessories because there's really not a bar space down here or in this entire house yet and I love this mirror believe it or not I found this on Target and it's like kind of 
jagged. I love the edge on this. Super affordable as well. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I was I wanted to DIY something like this, but then this for the price point, I was like, oh, we're just gonna be purchasing that piece. It's so much fun being able to reintroduce pieces that you guys have seen me get at flea markets, you know? Like for example, this lamb. I shared this in a flea market haul a while back. And it looks like this, kind of curvy and sculptural. And I love how the round shape here fits kind of in the roundness on the end. It has this really great shade too. These types of hangers are the worst to get level. So if you just take some mounting tape and you know, just put them right there. And use your nail to just kind of like scratch or rip a little bit of the tape. are up and they look unreal just so so pretty i'm going to put the camera back here and point it across the way so you can see us add the other three sets of panels i want to show you guys how visually impactful curtains can change a space like it really really heightens the ceilings it adds so much texture and you're gonna see this entire room go from no curtains to curtains and it's going to be pretty intense i think Oh, I'm also removing this kind of scallopy lattice valance that's up here. First of all, it doesn't go all the way across and it's just not my favorite and I need to mount the rod quite a bit higher. So I'm going to remove that. Hopefully it comes off easily. So we'll see. Are you joking right now with how this looks? Let me get out of the frame so you can see. That looks unreal. These curtains are truly so, so beautiful. I've never touched, felt, or pulled a more prettier curtain before. I am so happy with these. They look so stunning. And yeah, I mean, it just draws your eye up. It makes the room look larger. Uh, we can actually close these all the way to cover the window too. And something else I'm kind of thinking is maybe hanging a piece of art behind the curtains because these curtains in particular are mounted on the wood beams. So it pops out a bit. So I can actually put like a cool piece of art here and like, I don't know, have kind of an asymmetric moment. I'm not sure, but I am absolutely in love with the curtain panels. I hope that you guys like them. And I really feel like this is a great example of how much curtains can really change a space.
And that is where we are going to end this first part of the Lobby Makeover, which is such a funny name. I love it. It's it's fun. It's different. Um, it definitely can also be kind of like a lounge space as well. You can call it the Lobby or the Lounge, whatever you feel more comfortable calling it. I really am loving the direction of this room so far, and I've been sitting down here each morning drinking my coffee and just, it is so bright in here. That's what I really love. The upstairs living room has more of a moody vibe to it, which I also love. Like there's different feelings, of course, like I mentioned, at the beginning that I want to evoke in each kind of room. And down here is a room where I'm able to film my DIY projects, move some pieces out of the way, um, work on top of the rug if I wanted to, but it also is a really beautiful space to have friends over and guests over and kind of host and entertain in this space as well. And I love how it's kind of connected up to the movie theater room. So in the next part, we are gonna be working more on this half of the room. We kind of focused on this half, but in the next part, we're working on this half. I kind of want to do a seating area. Um, I want to do some fun stuff with the built-ins. I have an art piece that I want to add. So there's going to be a lot. And then of course we do have the style over here as well. I've added a couple pillows to the couch just for the time being, but we are going to be doing that in the next one, which will probably be this upcoming Thursday. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so that we can be Lone Fox family friends. And I will catch you guys all in my next one. I hope that you're loving this transformation thus far and this tapestry. It just, it makes me so happy. Probably look at this tapestry forever. Like it is such a beautiful piece and I love it so much. So I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!